Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this map animation inspired by a particular Vox video. I'll walk you through how I created the assets, then we're gonna build it all inside After Effects. So with that said, let's begin. The inspiration for this animation was this video about the undersea minerals. It's a great video, you guys should definitely check it. If you take a closer look at the ships, you'll see they have a very distinctive look to them, which I thought would be really fun to recreate. I also really like the way they animate the world map over here with a 3D perspective, and I wanted to recreate that particular part. So with that said, let's see how the assets were done. First I downloaded a whole bunch of ship images. I probably downloaded more ships than I needed. I took them in Photoshop and removed their background. After this, I separated the ships into two parts. I tinted them and threw in this paper texture over them to add that paper look you saw in the video. I blend the top part with a darker color blending mode and the bottom part with the pin light blending mode in Photoshop. Then I drew this support beam structure and added it to the ships. And this is how all the ships were made. I created a small comp in After Effects, added a mask and threw in a wave warp effect to make an animated flag. Then I overlaid the paper texture over it with the multiply blending mode. I also added a curve adjustment to make it really contrastic. Once that was done, I tinted the whole thing so I can recolor it based on the brightness and the contrast values. I rendered a small part of this comp as a PNG sequence so I can just drag and drop it with any other assets. I got this world map and opened it in Photoshop and color corrected it to make it look similar to the video. I just used some basic curves and human saturation to get it done. No advanced stuff or anything like that. I also got these two images that we're gonna be using in the animation. So these are all the assets we're gonna be using in this tutorial. Now let's see how I animated them. I created a new comp 3840 by 2160 pixels 24 fps. I imported the sky, water, ship and the flag elements inside it. After this I repositioned the sky and started adjusting its color with a curve adjustment. I tinted it and took down its saturation a bit. After this I changed the water texture's position and scale and tried to fit it better in the composition. I masked it and threw in a wave warp and modified its wave height and width. I added a curve and started adjusting its color, then threw in a tint to make it a bit saturated. I added a photo filter effect and started playing with the custom color and density. In the end, I added this effect before the tint and changed the value to get a more desaturated blue look. After this, I added the roughen edges effect to modify the edges of the water. I duplicated this water texture and removed all the effects other than the wave warp and the roughen edges effect. Then I added the gradient ramp effect and changed the default colors to black and blue and set the blending mode to screen and adjusted the colors positions. This will bring back some of the sea blue color back to the water texture. After this I imported the flag, scaled it down and repositioned it at the top of the shape and parented it. I used a hue and saturation effect to add color to the flag. The animation for this ship was quite simple. I separated its position dimensions and animated the X position. After that I animated its Y position going up and down and looped it using an expression. After playing with the time and spacing for the animation, this is what we get. For the second shot, I created a new 1920x1080p comp, dragged the world map inside it and repositioned its anchor point. After this, I created another new comp, 1000x800p and copy pasted the ship and the flag from the first shot. I deleted the keyframes and repositioned the ship to fit better in the composition. I dragged the ship comp into the second scene 
scaled it down and repositioned it. After this, I created a new shape layer and added a circular shape path. I parented the ship and the shape layer to the world map and turned all of them into 3D layers. I started animating the ship and I bought in the first comp inside it so I can line up the animation. I animated the first comp scale value so it zooms out and adjusted the graph so it starts fast and settles in slow. Then I started playing with the scale of the world map and since all the layers are parented to it, they're gonna follow along. I modified the graph of the world map to match with the first comp. After playing with the timing of the second ship, I realigned the layers and did a jump cut from the first scene to this. After this, I animated the map scale value to create a snap zoom. I adjusted its speed graph like before so the zoom is fast and snappy. This is the point where I add a text layer. I scaled it down and reposition it, then in the timeline trimmed it to start when the first zoom ends. I added an opacity operator, turned it all the way to 0, then animated its offset from 0 to 100 to reveal the text layer. I faded the ship after a few frames and then started playing with the world map scale, rotation and position. I also faded the text layer too when I was zooming in the map. After playing with the values and adjusting the speed graph for the map's position, scale and rotation, this part was done. Before adding the shapes, I also animated the stroke of the shape layer because it was looking too thick when we are zoomed in that much. After this, I made another new comp and put the new shape with the flag animation inside it. Then I duplicated it a bunch of times and went inside each of them and changed the flag's color. After this, I bring them all inside the comp and started animating their position. Once I was happy with them, I basically repeated this entire process for the rest of the ships. I also made a few copies of the side ship comp and placed them all around the scene. Once I was happy with the overall animation, I animated one of the ship's opacity and pasted them to all of them. After this, I offsetted all of them just a bit so they don't start all at once. A dash of noise was added and a posterized time set to 12 fps and it's done. As you can see, it's a pretty cool looking map animation and it can be modified to your needs. It's also very flexible to edit. If you guys have any questions, please ask them in the comment and I will try my best to answer them. And if you guys want to take a deeper look, you can get this project file from the link in the description. Now, if you want to see a breakdown of a full Vox video process, you can click on your left as we speak. And for more motion graphics content, please subscribe to Motion Nerds and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.